，因为有啲同学咧睇错题目就惨过冇温书啦。二零二二年第三条题目咧系有关于利用显微镜嘅，咁而家呢幅图咧就系显微照片啦，就显示咗一啲未经验识嘅植物細胞嘅，咁你见到三个唔同嘅标示啦，结构 M 啦，同埋两个叶绿体，一个系一号，另一个就系二号啦，咁都系嗰句啦，有翻标示咧就做翻 labeling 啊嘛，唔系问你个名就问你个功能噶啦，而家 part A 正正就系叫你标示翻构造 M 系乜嘢啦。自不然啦，佢就係個植物細胞最外圍包住嘅部分，就係細胞壁啦。我想而知啦，呢個好習慣呢係幾咁重要咯噃，咁多位。然後去到 Part B 啦，究竟啦呢幅圖 W 嘅實際長度啦係幾多呢？咁呢條題目啦就考返我哋嘅傳視技能啦，就係計數。今次要計嘅呢就係比例啦。咁要計數嘅話啦，有咩步驟俾我哋去跟返呢？第一步啦，就係利用返呢幅圖俾我哋嘅比例尺啦，擺把間尺度一度返呢一條黑線呢，一 cm 就係等於十個 micrometer， 十個微米。然後啦，第二步呢，就係攞把間尺度返呢一個 W 箭嘴呢一條線嘅長度啦。嗱，記住度埋箭嘴位置，喎。咁啊度咗呢，就係一點九個 cm 啦。然後啦就計數喇噃。咁我就就當呢 W 嘅實際長度呢就係 x， 咁我哋呢就有下面呢一條數式喎。放大咗嘅長度就係一 cm， 實際長度就係十個微米。咁而家我哋度到 W 嘅呢一條線呢，就係一點九 cm， 咁佢實際嘅長度又係幾多呢？咁所以我哋見到呢有呢個比例喇喎，一比十。一點九比幾多呢？其實利用返交叉相乘就可以啦。一乘 x 就係一 x 啦，即係 x 啦。十乘一點九就係十九啦。所以 x 就等於十九個 micrometer， 十九微米啦。都係嗰句啦，冇單位冇分，是常識吧？所以記緊俾返我單位，我係微米咯噃 ，micrometer 啦。然後啦，去到 part C 啦。喺呢個顯微照片當中咧，你會見得到咧葉綠體一號咧個影像係好清晰嘅，而葉綠體二咧就較為模糊嘅。如果我哋想睇清楚個葉綠體二嘅話啦，咁應該點樣操作你嘅顯微鏡呢？咁呢條題目咧就係考翻我哋利用顯微鏡嘅技巧咯。過往都有題目咧可以考翻我哋啦，點樣做對焦嘅？咁今次咧我哋已經知得到噶啦。葉綠體二號咧，實質已經屬於我哋睇顯微鏡嘅視野嘅中間位置啦。咁所以我哋可以直接咧去調節我哋嗰個微調制噶啦。咁所以啦，我哋就係去轉動翻個微調嘅領制，直至到個影像係清晰對焦為止啦。嗱，咁呢句説話咧，其實後半部都好緊要嘅，唔好淨係話咧去轉動嗰個微調制。係直至到我哋有一個清晰嘅影像對照嘅影像為止，然後去到 part D 咧就係講啦，有一啲葉綠體嘅構造咧係唔能夠喺呢一個顯微照片嗰度分辨出嚟嘅。啊，咁究竟有啲咩嘅結構咧？咁呢條題目啦，其實就係考翻喺個葉綠體當中究竟有咩嘅結構係細粒到。睇唔到呢？咁其實啦，而家睇返呢一幅圖呢，對照返書本啦呢、这個呢就係、是、放大咗四百倍啦，佢都一定呢係去唔到一千倍或以上嘅。咁所以啦，有一啲結構呢，佢應該係睇唔見嘅。咁例如啦，基粒啦、類狼體膜啦，嗱，記住個狼字要寫啱喎。咁啊，因為過往呢，考評局呢，真係見到嗰啲學生呢，個狼字真係寫得。滑滑突突，甚至寫錯字，甚至寫白字呢，佢哋都真係唔俾分嘅。或者啦，內膜啦、外膜啦，其實呢啲結構呢，喺書本都俾咗你嘅。咁其實都非常之直接㗎啦。你只要諗清諗楚，究竟佢係咪一啲喺個葉綠體嘅結構啫？因為有啲同學呢，睇錯題目就慘過冇温書啦。佢哋呢，就冇睇清楚題目。佢哋就以為題目係問緊一啲喺個細胞入面睇得唔清楚、辨識唔到嘅結構，其實題目係問緊喺個葉綠體入面嘅結構。咁所以佢哋有機會就答錯咗答案啦，例如立粒線體啦，或者內質網啦，呢啲咧都喺個細胞嘅較為細嘅細胞器嚟嘅。
但系佢哋并唔系喺个叶绿体入面啊嘛，咁所以记住啦，睇清楚题目咯。然后去到 part 一咧，就系写出一种仪器咧，系可以观察翻你喺 part 一所讲嘅呢一啲较为细小嘅结构嘅。咁自不然啊，就考返我哋啦。喺唔同嘅顯微鏡啦，佢哋呢所去製造嘅影像啦，佢哋放大率夠唔夠高啦，同埋佢解像度夠唔夠高呢？咁而家係講緊放得唔夠大啊嘛。咁自不然啊，我哋就要用放大率再高一啲嘅電子顯微鏡啦。咁電子顯微鏡除咗佢一個高一啲嘅放大率之外呢，佢嘅解像度都係清晰一啲，都係高一啲嘅。咁例如啦。当一个电子显微镜同一个光学显微镜喺同一个嘅放大率底下咧，影像系清晰好多嘅。咁所以大家啦喺温显微镜呢一课嘅时候咧，就唔好净系谂紧放大率咯。原来解像度咧都牵涉喺我哋嘅考虑当中噶。咁嚟到一点出发啦，今次嘅题目咧就由叶绿素去开始，就问两样嘢啦，一个问结构啦，另一个就问显微镜嘅使用啦，结合出嚟咧就系问下有关于光合。作用嘅概念咯，先讲结构啦，叶绿体佢嘅构造啦、功能啦、适应性特征啦，你识得几多咧？例如啦，类狼体咧，佢一片片嘅，但系啦，原来咧佢系咁多个一片片咧，就搭埋一齐形成咗一个基粒嘅。咁所以呢一樣嘢呢，大家又要留意下咯。咁過往呢，都有唔少題目呢，都係問返喺個葉綠體入面嘅不同結構嘅功能啦。咁咁啊，快啲睇下片，温返書啦。跟住啦，去到顯微鏡嘅運用啦，如何對焦呢？或者下次啦，叫你畫圖又得唔得啊？梗係可以啦。又或者下次要問嘅呢，就唔係觀察個葉綠體咯，觀察返塊葉嘅結構啦。例如啦，睇返葉面啦，同埋葉底個氣孔嘅密度啦。咁呢個呢，其實都會影響咗棵植物嘅光合作用速度㗎嘛。咁所以啦，葉嘅適應性特徵又如何？大家又要溫下書咯噃。Two two two question three is about the use of the microscope and for the photo micrograph you can see here it shows some unstained plant cells. And you can see different structure, structure M, and then two corpus, corpus one and corpus two. So remember that we have the good practice. Once we see the structure, give it the name first, because the question either asks you the name or the functions or the adaptive features of this structure. And for part A, you can see that it asks you to label the structure M. Structure M, it is the boundary. The structure surrounding all the corpus inside, so it is the cell wall. So you see the importance of doing labeling for the diagram or the photo micrograph. And then for part B, what is the actual length of W shown in the photo micrograph? In this question, it shows us the skills for the calculation. And this time we need to calculate the ratio. So let's go through the calculation step by step. First step, you need to use the standard scale, and you use the ruler. One cm is equal to ten micrometer. And then step two, you need to use the ruler to measure the length of W. So it is one point nine cm, including these two arrows. Remember. And then for step three, for calculation, we let x be the actual length of W. And for step four, we have the formula here, the equation. Magnify the length divided by the actual length. One cm is equal to ten micrometer. And now we have one point nine cm. So what will be the actual length? And then we use the cross method. One times x is equal to x. Ten times one point nine is equal to nineteen. Therefore, the answer is nineteen micrometers. So remember that no mark if no unit is given. And then for part C, corpus one appears sharp in this photo micrograph. However, corpus two appears blurred. So to obtain a sharper image of the corpus two, how should you operate the microscope? So this concept it checks the skills of using the microscope. There were questions about using the microscope before. So for this part, the corpus two is already in the middle field of view. Therefore, we can directly tune the fine adjustment knob. 
Therefore, the answer is that we rotate the affine adjustment knob until the image is in focus. Now remember, for the second half of the answer, until the image is in focus is also important, not just rotate. Or when, when do you stop, okay? Until the image is in focus. And then for part D, some structures of the corpus cannot be distinguished in this photo micrograph. State one of these structures. So this question, it checks us the structures in the corpus. For example, the granum, phalagoid membrane, inner membrane, and outer membrane, because you can see the corpus and not see the inner structure of the corpus. One thing I would like to remind is that the common misunderstanding or mistake, because some students, they did not read the question carefully and misunderstood that the question is asking the structure cannot be distinguished in the photo micrograph, in the plant cell generally. However, the question is asking about the structures of the corpus. Therefore, they gave some irrelevant answers such as mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum they are in the cells generally but not in the corpus so you can see this question is very straightforward however you need to read the question carefully and then for part e give one equipment that can be used to observe the structure state in part d and you need to recall various types of microscope which can produce images with higher magnification and higher resolution. And the answer is electron microscope. So apart from the higher magnification the electron microscope can produce, they can also produce a image with higher resolution. And the comparison is like this. On the left hand side, we have the photo micrograph produced by the light microscope. And on the right hand side, we have the image produced by the electron microscope. So under the same magnification. So you can see the electron microscope, they can produce the image with higher resolution. Therefore, when you are doing the revision about the microscope, don't just think about the magnification, but also consider the resolution as well. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question it starts from the corpus and it asks us about the structures and how can we use the microscope. And then combine the idea, we can check you the concept about photosynthesis. So for the structure, very straightforward idea about the structure, functions, and adaptive features. So for this part, explain how do the phalagoids allow effective photosynthesis. So we know that oh, for phalagoids, it is the membrane sac with space inside. They are in large number arranged in stack called grana. So for Grana, how can it allow the effective photosynthesis? So you can watch the video for revision as well. And for the microscope, how can you focus the image? So before that, there were MC and long question about uh, using microscope, no matter the steps or even the drawing. Maybe next time it gave you a higher magnification image of the corpus and then you need to draw the diagram of the corpus. Or we use the microscope to observe the leaf structure. For example, the stomata density on both sides of the epidermis. And then how does the stomata density affect the rate of photosynthesis? That's about the adaptive features of the leaf. So watch the video for the revision as well.